Hi, this is David McCann for Elementor 360. Welcome to another 360 tutorial. This video is for people who want to include custom fields in their Elementor Pro archives. By default, Elementor Pro doesn't let you include custom fields in your templates for archives. In this video, I'll show you how to do that using a free plugin called Elementor Custom Skin. I have here a test site using the Page Builder Framework theme, and I've installed a few plugins. I have Elementor, Elementor Pro, Toolset Types, Toolset Views, and the Elementor Custom Skin plugin, the free plugin from the WordPress.org directory. Now with Toolset, I've created a custom post type called Books, and the books custom post type has some custom fields and one of them is called book format. So the book can be in print or an audio book and I've used Elementor and created a single template for books where I output this custom field. What I'd like to do is create an archive for books that also shows this custom field. Here I am in the Elementor Pro Theme Builder. Let's take a look at what the archive gives us out of the box. We want to create an archive. Give it a name for Book Archive. And we're going to make it from scratch. Now we'll add the archive title. Let's go put a little space above that. We'll add the archive title, and now we'll add the archive posts. Now we want to set this to books, so we'll go to the settings, and we'll do publish, and we will do books archives. So I'm going to try to change this just to have a row across of uh, books. So I'm going to go to one and we'll make the image thumbnail and we'll have it go to the left. We'll change the image width, make it about 30%. And let's see if we can adjust the aspect ratio to get a better view of the cover that looks better but it's a little tall and we'll make the excerpt length a little longer so that it fills up a little more of the space there so this is our archive that we can create with Elementor Pro there's no ability to add a custom field which is what we'd like to do here Let's save this and at our condition that it's a book archive, go preview it here. Okay. So now we want to create something more or less like this, but have our custom field in here also. And this is where the plugin Elementor Custom Skin comes in. With this plugin Elementor Custom Skin, we have an option for a loop. And we're going to create that, call it a book archive loop, and create a template. Now with Elementor Pro, when you create a single template, it's easy to add custom fields. You can't normally do that with the archive template. With this loop concept, we're back into the flexibility we have with a single archive template. So I'm going to add a row here. I'm going to have it stretch full width and then I'm going to change this so this row is also full width. Let's duplicate this. Let's add our featured image here. use the dynamic data ability that we have with the regular Elementor Builder. 
let's set our preview settings. Okay, and I think we can probably make that a little smaller. And now let's stack in our heading, which is going to be our post title. And let's see, we'll make this have a link to our post URL. Let's just go with the full here and let's make this a little bit larger. Okay, and now now let's stack in our post summary and make it a little longer. And now let's add our custom field. This is book format. And before we're going to say format reviewed. Audio. And now we're going to add a button. Read more. And the link will go to the post URL. Wonder if we can make this a little smaller in height. Let's try medium large. Nope. Medium. Okay, there. So this is our template now, our custom skin, our loop. We're gonna save that. We don't need to give it any condition. And now let's go back to the theme builder and to our archive. And let's edit with Elementor. So we have this now, instead of the classic or the card, we're going to choose custom, and then we're going to choose our book archive loop. We want columns one. And there we go. We save that. We go take a look. And here's our book archive with our custom field. So I hope this video has been useful and that you found it interesting. Thank you for watching.